This month has really turned into Korea month. Why? Because over the course of the month, I'll have driven five Korean vehicles. We started out with the brand new Kia Forte. Then we went to something electric with the new Kona Electric. Then a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle with the Hyundai Nexo. Next week, we're gonna drive the hot new Veloster N. And then we have this, the all new Hyundai Santa Fe. Let's take a look. The new Santa Fe has an all new style to it. I think it looks kind of uh, masculine in a way. It's, it looks like it's sitting very upright. The, the front hood seems to extend far back. The overhangs are short. It has this kind of chain mail type of grill and it doesn't seem like it's overstyled too much. In front here you have uh, standard daytime LED running lights and this is the ultimate version and it's the only one that it gets LED bi-level uh, headlights. All the other models get projector halogens. Onto the side, standard are 17 inch wheels. Now that's on the Essential, which is the lowest, lowest base model. And everything else gets 18 inch wheels. This one gets 19 inch with the Ultimate. The mirror's now being relocated onto the door, so you get a little bit better visibility through this uh, side little window here. I like this, how they've separated this rocker panel. There's three different colors or textures really you have the paint then you have the black plastic and then this chrome uh, sword like finish it gives it a nice three-dimensional look and gives it some nice texture onto the back it looks very upright here you have a integrated roof spoiler and on this ultimate model you get led tail lights as well well when you get an suv you want utility this is equipped with the smart trunk, which I much prefer over the ones that you have to kick. You just stand by it, it starts beeping, and you can stand away if you don't want it to open. In here, there is a lot of room, just to give you an idea. Here's camera bag, full-size stroller. Here, you can see how far it goes in. It's got tons of room here. There's just a jacket there, but let me show you what's else there is here. Oops. Under these panels, there is a storage area and they're divided. So you can put things out of the way so people don't see them and you can organize things as well. And under here you have your jack and another kind of a plastic tray. So lots of room back here. You do have a 12 volt outlet and you have a second row buttons to put the seats down. One thing that I do wish this had, however, is a system similar to what Volkswagen has on their Tiguan, where you can actually push a proximity button, and when you walk away, the trunk will close. That's really handy if you have your hands full and you need to have a hand to hit that button. Okay, on the inside of the Santa Fe, there's a lot to talk about. First of all, we are in the Ultimate, which is their top model, but a lot of the design features are essentially the same through the top to the bottom. So when you look at the inside, they have these two arches where the driver and the passenger seat look out and they kind of emulate waves. That's what Hyundai calls it. And I can see that a wave and it just kind of congregates right in the center and kind of similar to those rocker panels outside where they've used different textures and um, colors. So it gives a more substantial look and they've used a step technique. So there's different layers. It's not just a, a plain flat dash. They've also created this little tray area in front of the passenger above the glove box. and. I'm a fan of those little trays. I have a, one similar on our Highlander, and it's great to put things like sunglasses onto the center screen. It's very stylish, and that's kind of hard to do nowadays when you actually just throw a screen up there. And, and some manufacturers, they just look exactly just like, a, a, like you've taken your iPad and just stuck it on there. This has a little bit of a shape to it. I like the, the chrome around it. It's easy to use. It has navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, come standard on that. Of course, it has a backup camera, but a 360 camera as well. Below that, you have your, your heating controls. I like that they still use actual turning knobs instead of buttons. It's really easy to do when you're not uh, looking down. You can just adjust it very easily. Below that, two USBs, a 12 volt outlet, and wireless charging on this Ultimate. Then we get to 
what's in front of me, you have a heated leather wrapped steering wheel. In front, you have a hybrid system of an instrument stack, two analog gauges on the right surrounding a digital display that have your speedometer and your odometer. And one thing that's kind of neat is when you put the drive mode into sport, it turns all red, which it seems like that's the common color, but it, it darkens all your speeds and the speeds actually light up as you get to that speed. And I think it's kind of cool. I don't know if Hyundai is the first to do that, but it's the first that I've noticed and I think it's kind of neat. This is also equipped with a head up display and it has a lot of information other than just speed. It has your lane departure. You can get your navigation on there. Uh, lots of things on there so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. Seat wise, all Santa Fe's other than their base essential, which is not gonna be their volume seller, they all come with a powered driver's seat. When you get up to the luxury or the ultimate trim, you get a powered passenger seat as well. All of them get standard heated seats. This one gets standard heated and ventilated seats as well as that steering wheel. I like all the details. You look on the on the side panel, uh, you get leather, you have even the speaker grills instead of just being flat, they, they, there's a geometrical shape that uh, they're very pleasing to the eye. Your eyes are drawn to them. You're like, wow, it, and you wanna touch them, you know, cause it, you're not sure if they're, uh, if they actually have a texture or not, and they do. Oh, one other thing, huge, huge panoramic roof. It basically encompasses the entire uh, length of the car for the roof. Let's see the back seat. Okay. All right, there is a ton. I'm serious, I'm not exaggerating. The cabin feels cavernous. It feels very tall, it feels very long, and it, partially because you can adjust the seat back quite far. <laughs> okay, you can't see how far I am right now. This is how far. It's, I'm serious, I know a lot of other vehicles recline, but I don't think they recline this far. It's it's almost uncomfortably far. It's uh, That's amazing. And then, oh, <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> there is, you can also slide the seat forward and back as well. So maybe you have some little kids here and that's pretty far up. And when you do that, you have so much room in the back. The floor is pretty well flat as well, and you also have two USB outlets in the rear. Yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like old style business class that don't quite lie down, but enough. The new Santa Fe is built off of the brand new Hyundai platform that uses the super ultra high tensile steel. They call it the super structure. And we tested that uh, first on the new Elantra. And yeah, so the chassis is a lot stiffer. It's lighter. Uh, overall, when, you, when you're driving this vehicle, it feels pretty big. It feels big because it is big. We mentioned on the inside, there's a lot of headroom. Now, under the hood, there are two options. Either a 2.4 liter four cylinder, it puts out 185 horsepower, and the two liter turbo that we are driving right now, and that puts out 235 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Now that is class leading if you compare it to like the Volkswagen Tiguan or the CRV, the RAV4, the CX-5 from Mazda or the Nissan Rogue. This does have the most power, but it is a very big vehicle. And one thing I've noticed, okay, let's just put it in normal mode. I pretty well almost have my foot to the floor right now. So I find that I really want to go into sport mode and even then there's kind of a delay uh, for the transmission first of all to kick down and also for the power to to come on so let's just try it again so it's not as responsive as I would like it to be so that power goes to an eight-speed automatic transmission 
and you can either get front wheel drive, which basically on the base model you would get, or all the other models above would come with all wheel drive, the H-Track all wheel drive, and that's perfect for Canadians. Most of us will buy the all wheel drive. You just feel a little bit more confident in winter conditions. One thing that you really will notice when you get into this new Santa Fe, or maybe something that you won't notice, is noise. It is extremely, extremely quiet. That superstructure, uh, it just creates a nice platform for the suspension to work. And we're going over some potholes and some manhole covers on purpose right now. It's a very isolated cabin. As for steering, there's a little bit of a lack of a, a communication to the driver. A little bit more road feel would be nice on this Santa Fe. You might notice that we're starting and stopping a lot. It's later in the afternoon right now, so the traffic's kind of building up. But a few things to help out with that. You have an um, electric parking brake with auto hold, so you can, when you come to a stop, you can take your foot off the brake. That's really nice. Also, a whole bunch of different driving uh, assistant aids, like uh, blind spot monitoring system. You have a lane keeping assist, radar cruise control with stop and go as well. Rear cross traffic alert, which actually works. Uh, I was backing into a parking spot and it actually sensed a curb. Now I wasn't going to hit the curb, but it's, I guess it was close enough and it was kind of jarring and it just, just jammed the brakes on. Uh, so that works very well. There are two brand new features. The first one's called Safe Exit Assist. And basically it is what it sounds like. It's like a blind spot monitoring system, but it's for the people in the rear seats when they open the door. It'll actually use the rear sensors and if it uh, notices there's traffic coming behind you, it will not let you open that door. So basically it, it turns the child lock on and you will not be able to turn that child lock off until the system has cleared you. The second technology is called rear occupant alert. And this is a biggie. A lot of you might have heard on the news in the past, you know, someone unfortunately uh, forgetting about a child or maybe a pet in the back. And the consequences are quite dire there. It's never a good thing. And I feel for those people because as a parent, I know sometimes your mind is going a, a million times a minute. You're trying to get things done before you go to work and, and you got everything from lunches to uh, homework to grab. And, and yeah, you know, it's, it's something that it can happen. What this does, when you leave your vehicle, you're gonna get a warning, first of all, in your center cluster saying, you know, check the back. But even if you don't see that warning and you leave the vehicle and you lock it, there are ultrasonic sensors in the rear and they'll work for 24 hours. So they'll sense if something's in the back and if there is and it knows that the car is locked and you've left, it'll flash your lights, it'll honk the horn and it'll even send you a message on your phone telling you that you have left something in the back. Now that, you know, even if that, if that saves one person or animal, it's a hundred percent worth it. And I'm hoping that this really does filter through uh, to other products and across all manufacturers. You sit quite high in the Santa Fe, which a lot of people like uh, in an SUV and ride wise, like I mentioned, you're really isolated uh, from the outside suspension. It's pretty soft. This is not a, a huge performance vehicle by any means. Uh, this is going to be perfect for you and your family, that's for sure. Hyundai did an excellent job on this brand new Santa Fe and they had to because this is an ultra competitive class. They seem to tick all the boxes. Styling, it's A1 for me for sure. And some of those new safety features I think are really innovative and, and I'm sure those will work their way into other products as well. So if you're in the market for a compact to medium size SUV, this one should definitely be on your list. Just a quick shout out to the boys over at the Straight Pipes. 
especially Yuri, you were always wishing for XM radio that you could pause and rewind. Guess what? This one has it. That's XM radio. Pause and rewind. I'm Christine Stone. Or play live. There you go. It's been done. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more everyday reviews, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.